let's talk about animal cell and its constituents now animal cell the outermost layer is cell membrane in the case of plant cell we had seen the outermost layer is cell wall but in animal cell it's directly the cell membrane that is there and this cell membrane as we know is selectively permeable that means it allows certain things to enter and certain things not to enter into the cell now within the cell membrane whatever is present is known as protoplasm that means what is present protoplasm is made up of cytoplasm plus nucleus so we would be talking about both of these constituents one by one now cytoplasm is made up of a kind of fluid material that is present within the cell membrane and has numerous organelles which are present within it and then you have the nucleus now let's first focus on the nucleus nucleus is a double membrane structure as you can see here and it has small pores that are present so the membrane is known as nuclear membrane you have nuclear pores that are present on the surface and within it you have the liquid or the fluid material which is known as nucleoplasma within the nucleoplasma you have the nucleoli which is present and this nucleoli Surrounding this nucleoli, you have the chromatin network and these are the thread network that is present. These chromatin have genes which are responsible for genetic information to be carried from one generation to another. Now, in certain cases, chromatin thickens to form what? It forms the chromosome. Understanding the different organelles of cell is very, very important. Now, in the cell, we already talked about nucleus, so we would move forward with the other organelles that are present within the cell uh, and let's focus on them one by one. So here we have the endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now endoplasmic reticulum basically is a supportive structure which provides support to the cell. It, ca it can be either a smooth or rough endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosomes that are there. The rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to it now the purpose of this ribosome is synthesis of proteins and the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the synthesis for fats and lipids so that is a major difference between the smooth and the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is there the next important constituents that we would be understanding are the vacuoles that are present. Now these vacuoles are basically smaller in case of animal cells and they are spread across the cytoplasm. These have fluid that is filled within them. They help to maintain the turgidity of the cell that means provide shape uh, the basic form and the structure that is there now the because of the optimum fluid content that is there and these vacuoles have dissolved sugars and minerals and waste that is present in the cell the next is mitochondria mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell these mitochondria have an outer layer which is smooth the inner layer which has kissed uh, the cristae that are there and this cristae have the various uh, smooth folds that are there and uh, you have the basic function of the mitochondria where it basically oxidizes the food to release energy during any process of cellular respiration. So that is the function of mitochondria. Coming on next is lysosomes. So here we have the structure for lysosomes. Lysosomes are membrane bound sacs and they are basically the suicidal bag of the cells as they are called as. So any kind, they basically release the digestive enzyme and any kind of waste or foreign attack onto the uh, cell is basically taken into care by the lysosomes in certain cases if the cell is injured even whole of the cell is being ingested by the lysosomes here we have the golgi apparatus golgi apparatus basically helps in the movement transportation uh, of proteins and lipids along with that it also helps in the formation of lysosomes in case of animal cell not in the case of plant cells so plant cells do not have lysosomes 
and therefore golgi apparatus does the process of formation of lysosomes in the case of animal cell the next is closer to the nucleus you have the centrosome that is present the structure detail of a centrosome is given here now this centrosome has two centrioles which are present at right angle one is the mother centriole the other is the daughter centriole and they are connected by connecting fibers that are present now these centrosomes that are there are simpler in the case of plant cell because in plant cell the centrosome do not have any centrioles that are present however in the case of animal cell you do have centrioles uh, two centrioles perpendicular to one another that are present and these are basically duplicated during the s phase of the cell cycle so if you want to know more about the cell cycle we have covered a separate lecture on youtube do tutor where we have focused on the cell cycle and the various stages of cell cycle the main function of this centriole is important because it produces cilia during the process of interface and the spindle formation during the cell division so therefore the role of centrioles is very very important now coming on to uh, the next vacuoles we have already talked about mitochondria we have focused on so those were some of the key components of the cell that are present here if we go back on to each of the structures here so we have each of the structures in detail so as you could see the first structure that you can see here is the cell membrane so we have a bilipid layer cell membrane and you have the uh, structure of the cell membrane and the individual components that could be seen here uh, here you have this is selectively permeable as we said here we have the nucleus which has the nuclear pores it is double membrane and this is known as nuclear membrane within the nuclear membrane you have nucleoplasm and nucleolus that is present and you have a network of chromatin fibers that is present the next is within the chromatin fiber you have genes which carry the hereditary information now this is the lysosome which is the suicidal bag of the cell you have mitochondria present here which is the powerhouse of the cell endoplasmic reticulum now this is an example of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum we also have the rough endoplasmic reticulum the rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes smooth does not have ribosomes the one with ribosomes helps in protein synthesis one which does not have ribosomes help in the fat and the lipid synthesis then you have the golgi apparatus which is important for transportation and packaging of proteins along with formation of lysosomes we have the vacuole that helps to maintain the turgidity of the cell and then you have the structure of chromosome and the two centrioles perpendicular to one another as you can see in the image here so those are some of the basic uh, organelles that are present within the cell a quick recap again cell constitutes of protoplasm which is cytoplasm plus nucleus nucleus has the genetic information through the chromatin uh, which has the genes and then uh, we have the cytoplasm which has the other organelles as we can see here uh, which are present in animal cell you have lysosomes that are present so we have talked about lysosomes here in detail which we haven't in the class on plant cell again we have focused on the smooth and the rough endoplasmic reticulum which provides a supportive structure to the plant so those were some of the key highlights for the animal cell we would be talking about many more interesting lectures in science so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead